out of all the children I've seen I got to say none are quite this crazy Looks like my clone dropped out of school And dressed yourself up like Slim Shady I solved your origins What? What? Oh <laughs> What is going on guys? Kevin here from Kev Reacts and today Kev is reacting to a rap battle between Eleven from Stranger Things and Matilda. I just realized once I saw this video that they kind of are the same to be honest. Um, they both have the same kind of powers. Dude, Matilda was my movie back then. Like That was such a good movie and it's so underrated. Obviously, I'm a huge Stranger Things fan. I freaking love that show so much. I just finished season four, part one, and like desperately waiting for part two. Um, but they're have like they're having them go together. This is the perfect rap battle. They better come with bars, dude. Like I I know they. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. All right. Without further ado, let's check this out because I can't wait. <laughs> Beats already crazy, okay. Matilda. Real quick, I want to predict who I think is going to win. I feel like they have a lot more to say about Stranger Things than Matilda. I don't know. I'm, I kind of want to go with Eleven on this one, but we'll see. Of all the children I've seen I gotta say none are quite this crazy Looks like my clone dropped out of school And dressed yourself up like Slim Shady I solved your origins What? What? Oh <laughs> My clone dropped out of school And dressed up as Slim Shady Cause she shaved her head Oh my gosh Matilda's already starting off strong I Oh dude This is, this is freaking insane right here Holy shit Dude, she's going in. It's crazy. Looks like my clone dropped out of school and dressed yourself up like Slim Shady. I solved your origin story. Yeah, you stole the powers right off me. So there's no need for me to ask Eleven. Do you copy? I'm making you choke like a. Dude, she is like she is not pulling any punches, which it is true. Matilda came first, but like still, she is going in, dude. She said. I know you stole her powers right off me there, so there's no sense of saying Eleven, do you copy? Like I'm, you're copying me, but then in the show, all over that little radio, they say Eleven, do you copy all the time? Dude, this is, hmm, dude, Eleven better come back with some bars because this is this is crazy right now. So there's no need for me to ask Eleven, do you copy? I'm making you choke like a vial cake when I'm dropping you off at your final stage. The only thing you dropped in your entire mission was your little ten survival rate. That's five a matter right. First of all, she said the cake thing. If you've seen Matilda, they made that kitty all that chocolate cake. She said the only thing dropping is the survival rate of the town. Dude, that is so true. People are dying left and right. Dude, she is getting she's getting under her skin. Like, oh, I'm still dude. Matilda is like, dude, she's a battler right here. This is a battler. Eleven better come back with something, dude, or else Matilda's gonna take this one. For age. It's my books against your primal rage. You can dress up like a god, but you want believing everyone behind is not a child of faith. And it might run late, but even I was raised in a brighter place. At least my whole life in a chase. How can you know what a truth is when everyone uses you only to lie to your face? It's awful how you're should. Oh, she is just like she's just being mean. So like she is hurting her. Like she's getting personal with this. Like she is getting very personal with this. Like people are lying to Eleven all the time. Oh my God, dude, she just wants to make her cry. I guess it's the point of a rap battle, but like, come on, man. Eleven better hit her hard with these personals, because Matilda, Matilda's killing this. In a chase, how can you know what the truth is when everyone uses you only to lie to your face? It's awful how your show keeps dragging on. If you think you're memorable, then ask your mom. You want to stay safe? It's best to keep the gate closed, not giving you a fake name, and soon you'll be a Jane Doe. You think you're covered? You must be out of your... If you think you're memorable, ask your mom. Dude, her mom left. Oh, my God. God, dude, like, I feel, I'm actually, like, I actually want Eleven to win it. I feel so bad because these personals are, oh. I mean, honestly, though, in a rap battle, if you want to win, you, you got to use these. And, dude, Matilda, I, she might be the best rap battler I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> Jesus. You want to stay safe? It's best to keep the gate closed, not giving you a fake name, and soon you'll be a Jane Doe. You think you're 
<laughs> oh yeah, they, her name changed to Jane whenever uh, Willow's mom adopted her in Stranger Things. me not to stay close please you're acting as if you know me but i wouldn't mess with this telekinetic or else we will both get the nose bleed let's back Ooh, every time she does that her nose bleeds she will not mess oh okay okay 11 i want to hear 11 you better go at her because she destroyed you no offense she went in on you so i want i want you to go in on matilda if you know me but i wouldn't mess with this telekinetic or else we will both get the nose bleed let's backtrack to all these monsters i fought while escaping my father while this lab rag got her teeth sharp and you were barely even a daughter your mad okay that's what i want to hear okay all right, all right that's a person that's personal right there you were barely even a daughter dude her parents never paid attention to her only her teacher cared about her and oh that's personal right there all right 11 I, w I want more of that all right all right come on my father well this lab rag got her teeth sharp and you were barely even a daughter your math class i'm street smart and i'm flipping what that prison taught her so tonight it's time to burn the books of an anti-semitic author i've dealt with a couple of secret agents too bad i don't befriend liars yeah danny devito is like dnd &D is seller without buyers i see no 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 no, no, no. Danny DeVito D and D Dungeons and Dragons Danny DeVito is what'd she say? Will without buy sellers without buyers? Will buyers is are you kidding me? You're kidding me. Eleven oh dude, eleven could take this one if she keeps going like this. Dude. The wordplay of okay, Matilda may have had personals, but this wordplay, there, there's no match. This wordplay is crazy. Oh, damn! I gotta go back. Burn the books of an anti-Semitic author. I dealt with a couple of secret agents. Too bad I don't befriend liars. Yeah, Danny DeVito is like D and D a seller without buyers. Uh. I see you leave Eden. I kick to your friends. No defense against this accusation. Have your movies zoomed in on your shit eating grin. I'm begging for sensory deprivation. The badass of sensory deprivation that zoomed in on her all the time in the movie. Talking about her, that fat kid eating the cake in the scene. Which is a really weird scene, by the way. If you've ever seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Uh, I I don't know. This is like a tie right now. They both went in. Uh, I don't know, man. Matilda Matilda went in, but so did Eleven. I feel like Matilda's were just so personal. It just hurts, man. She just she just hurt her. No defense against this accusation. Have your movie zoomed in on your shit eating grin. I'm begging for sensory deprivation. Yeah. The badass of Hawkins back at the office lap rat is locked in dad's cabin promise nap and keep watching that brats the son is too bad that the daughter's past captures all the backlash your trauma fast flash was all your sad cast abroad in your audience is as dead as your father now the crickets are plotting are the only hoppers you got left drop it okay hang on hang on hang on hang on I just said 11 had the better wordplay I lied Matilda holy shit I'm gonna have to I heard Hopper's grass. Oh, mmm, mmm. Hang on, hang on. That was crazy. The badass of Hawkins back at the office. Lab rat is locked in dad's cabin. Promise a nap. Thank you, boy. Back at the office. Lab rat is locked in dad's cabin. Oh, promise to take a nap. Oh. Nap rat's the son is too bad that the daughter's past captures all the backlash. Your trauma fast flash was all your sad cast abroad in your audience is as dead as your father. Now the crickets are plotting are the only Hoppers you got left. The, crip, the cricket's chirping are the only father you've got. Poppers, you've got. Oh. Dude, I'm telling you, these personals and the wordplay. Matilda, I, I may have to change my vote to Matilda. I, I don't know. I, I I just see more potential. Side cast abroad in your audience is as dead as your father. Now the crickets are plotting are the Dude. only hoppers you got left. Drop it. So when your head is bringing nothing but your misery. They send you on a mission and you send them to heaven. I say organic. You're a product with an echo obsession. Your mind is fake and manufactured. Call you 7-Eleven because you ain't ready for the world to Oh, your favorite food is Eggos and your your fake so 7-Eleven like fake frozen food. 11 is her 7. Oh, stop. Dude, Matilda, stop it. Stop playing with me. Stop. Dude, I I'm going to go with Matilda. Matilda took this. I, I don't know 11 still got some verses left, but Matilda 
So far, Matilda ate this. She just went at her and took this. Come to heaven, I see organic. You're a product with an echo obsession. Your mind is fake and manufactured. Call you 7-Eleven because you ain't ready for the world. You're getting everyone in trouble and your friends will take the fall for you wherever you dwell. From your parents to your buddies to your Halloween to buckles. You want so much, even your friends call you L. You your study in the classics. You lose so much, even your friends call you L. They call her L in the show because her name's a l oh. Dude. All right. So this is the older Eleven from the third season. She's. I, I want her to go in. All right. I, I Eleven, if you do not go in right here, then you lose. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. So I want to hear something. So let's go back. Parents to your buddies, to your Halloween to buckles, you want so much, even your friends call you L. Spend your study in the classics, so why is it you still fail in practice? You drop set like you're stuck in home alone seas. You rap sounds like you wrote them in the chokey. I'm out beat him up, free to save your breath for now. Or you rap sound like you were in the chokey. Mrs. Uh, uh, Principal Trunchbull locked him in the chokey in the Matilda movie when they were, if she, like, got, they were punished or whatever. See, I don't know. I feel like Eleven is doing her thing and do like she has really good punchlines, but it's not personal enough to hurt Matilda. And I think that's what's, I think that's what it is, man. Maybe that's what it is. You're stuck in alone scenes. You rap sounds like you wrote them in the chokey. I'm out beating up, free to save your breath for now. Or do I need Christmas lights to smell it out? We're big back in 1996 and it's skedaddled. Then I'm the reason why they clanked on this battle. You're high yourself because you could never stop my town. You look up to me like you're stuck in the upside down. Okay, hang on, hang on. She said, I'm the, I'm the reason they clicked on this battle because if it was Matilda versus somebody else, they wouldn't even know who you were. Holy shit. And then she said, you're looking up at me like you're stuck in the upside down, the upside down in Stranger Things. Are you kidding me? All right, Eleven, come on. I, I need some more or else you're, you, she's already taken. I'm the reason why they clicked on this battle. You're high yourself because you could never stop my town. You look up to me like you're stuck in the upside down. I'll be straight each day when you fumble with your buddies. It's cliche speed grade always run into Miss Honey. But these days she gains her only attention from being Benjamin Paris' cousin. And that really says it all. Because any possibility this poopers giving me a beat and is always going to be purely hypothetical. This pea brain couldn't fight the hype as psychic. You'd wish for a mind like I got. So why don't you fly off high kid? Add this to my list of mic drops. Okay. That was pretty personal. The mic drop, Mike from Stranger Things, how she dropped the ball with that. Okay, all right, all right, mic drop. There's still some time left. I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if she's done. She did drop. I don't know. I, I still gonna go with Matilda. Can, doing this as a rap battle, Matilda took this, no question. Um, I mean, Eleven had bars. Like Eleven had bars, and she had a few person, but Matilda went in. There's no way Matilda got this. <laughs> Yeah, dude, this was a crazy animation too. They got everything right too. Shout out to the, everybody on this project, dude. I, I'm gonna I, let me know who you thought won in the comments below. I'm going with Matilda. Matilda went in. I mean, she ate her up. Eleven had nothing. I'm sorry. Eleven did her thing, had bars, but had nothing to go against Matilda. Which I feel like, I feel like the, it should have been the other way around, man. I feel like there was a lot to critique about that movie, but. Nah, Matilda won. She took this. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, that'll do it for today. Like I said, let me know in the comments who you thought won. And let me know what you want me to react to next. Um, and, you know, the like button, man. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm just going to keep saying because I, I've got to. It's, it's my thing. i got to say it. If you like the video, then you like the video. If you like the video mentally, you like the video physically. It's literally just common sense. All right, I'll catch you guys next time.